Hi, Timothy Inkert here, and in this C tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate the bubble sort algorithm. Now, the, let me explain what that is. So, what I'm going to do is create an unsorted array of numbers, integers, um, and then we're going to run through and sort them in order. Okay, so first thing, let's figure out how long the array is going to be. Uh, I think we should have it about 10 integers. So uh, I'm going to create the size of the array, and I'm going to create an, a constant for that. And let's put it at 10. And then we'll create an array, and we'll put in the values. So we're going to put in just random values. Let's do 23, uh, 56, 45, 123, 177, um, 1, 1, 12, uh, let's do 2, let's see how many numbers do we have, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, uh, let's do 8, let's do 34, and let's do 13, right, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, good, okay, and put a semicolon at the end here, and uh, I'm going to create a nested for loop to loop through this array. So I want to have an index for the outer part of the array, uh, the inner part of the array, a temporary variable where I can store uh, a value in, and an index i that we just run through the array at the end when I print out the sorted array in order. Okay, so I'm going to start and I'm going to say for outer equal to zero. And we're going to go outer is less than size of the array minus one. Okay, and then we're going to increment the outer each time through the loop. The reason why I'm going one less than the size is because I want to compare it to the inner loop, which is going to be one greater than the outer index. And if the outer loop is more than the inner loop, we're going to swap them, okay? All right, and then we'll create curly braces for that, and then we'll create our inner loop. So we'll say for inner equals outer plus one, because we're going to be one more than the outer loop index, and while inner is less than the size, because remember, uh, the index of an array, the size is the actual amount of items in the array. The index, so the, the, since the size is 10, the index, the index values would be from 0 to 9. So we have to keep it less than 10, okay? And then we're going to increment that up uh, once each time through the loop, okay? And then I'm going to say if array outer, the array outer is greater than the array inner. And remember, array inner is one higher. So let's say this number is greater than this number, right? Well, then we want to swap them, right? So we're going to do that. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take the temporary variable and we'll say that that's equal to the outer value that we want to swap and then we'll say the outer value we want to swap it with the inner right is equal to the inner value and then we need to swap and say the inner value is going to be equal to the temporary value that we put in okay so that's a way we can swap through them Okay, I'm going to go now outside of these loops. And now that we've reorganized the array, let's print it out. So we're going to say for i equals 0, i is less than the size. And we increment i each time up through. What we're going to do now is we're going to do a printf and do, we're printing an integer, so the percent sign and a d. 
And then we can space this out with the tab character. So uh, percentage and T, or sorry, uh, forward slash and T. And then we're going to print the item at array index I. And then right here, what we're going to do is we're going to do another print F just for formatting to move it down to the next line. And then at the end, we are going to return zero. And I'm going to save this. Okay. So now what I want to do is open up a terminal. And let's just take a look at the array first. So we've got 23, 56, 45, 123, so on and so forth. We should start with two and go like eight and uh, 13 and so on. So let's open up a terminal and let's compile. So we do GCC and then bubble sort.c and let's output just bubble sort. And everything went well in the compilation or compiling part and linking. And we'll run it. And we now see that our array is sorted from least to greatest. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications. It really does help the channel grow. I want to thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a great day. Bye.